Today we will learn how to transfer content from our official memory card to the SD2 Vita. For this video, you will need a hacked Vita with Vita Shell installed. You will also need the microSD card you wish to use with the SD2 Vita and a USB microSD reader. Make sure the microSD card is large enough to hold all of your data. Plug the microSD card and the Vita into your computer. Launch Vita Shell and press start to open the settings. Confirm select button is set to USB and USB device is set to memory card. Press circle to exit the menu and select to enable the USB. If you see just a few folders in your Vita's memory card, select File, Change Folder and Search Options, and click the View tab. Change Hidden Files and Folders to Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Remove the checkbox next to Hide Protected Operating System Files. Click Yes on the warning. Then click Apply and OK. Create a backup folder on your computer. Open that folder and your mounted Vita. Drag all of the files from your Vita onto the backup folder. It will take a while to transfer all of your content. For me, it took about 7 minutes to transfer 2 gigabytes. Your memory card is now safely backed up to your computer. Repeat these steps either from your memory card or your backed up folder to your micro SD card. Assuming that you've already performed the steps to enable SD to Vita, you should now be able to insert your micro SD and SD to Vita into your Vita and reboot it. When it boots, you should see all of your applications, but this time they will be loaded from the SD to Vita rather than your memory card. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Wilson Minute. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and if applicable, watch the next and previous videos in this series. If you would like to help support this channel, I have listed ways to do so in the video's description. Now get out there and apply your newfound knowledge.